My name is Dan Schulpsel. I'm chair of the geography department here at Western. Geography is a great discipline in that we've got a group of uh, individuals studying problems related to uh, people, places, their landscapes, how they interact uh, with their environment and indeed the physical geography and natural environment itself. In this set of videos you're going to hear uh, faculty who t describe their urban uh, research. Most of humanity lives in cities and so this is a pressing issue not only for people living in Ontario but throughout the world. My name is Dr. Jason Gilliland. I'm uh, director of the Urban Development Program and an associate professor of geography at the University of Western Ontario. My research focuses on the built environment. Uh, we look at how cities evolve and the socio and economic processes underlying the evolution of urban form. Uh, we look at uh, people in cities and how the built environment influences behaviors and well, the health and well-being of children, adults, seniors, other vulnerable populations. A lot of the work that we do in the lab has direct influence on public policy and um, has had direct benefit for the community. Uh, for example, we have done work on public parks and the quality of parks and, and how they influence their use by children and then parks and rec planners have taken that and redesigned parks to make them more beneficial for kids. A lot of our work is undertaken in collaboration with local planners, uh, with the city and the, the county. We also work very closely with public health workers at the Middlesex London Health Unit and a lot of other agencies in the region. Future projects would be related to transportation, housing, the built environment and the evolution of the urban form, children's health issues, seniors' health issues, and how these are related to city planning and, um, how, and city building processes. Graduate students in urban studies at Western have a lot of opportunity to um, hone their skills in, in, with new softwares and analytical techniques. Uh, all of our grad students publish at international conferences and they have the opportunity to publish with myself and other scholars. There are great opportunities in urban studies working in the field, working in the public sector as well as the private sector. So a lot of our graduates uh, work in the field of planning but they also become property developers and work in uh, development related in industries as well as becoming professors. A truly distinct aspect of our program in urban studies is that the graduate students in urban studies become collaborators on projects and we have a real team oriented program. One of the good things about being in a mid-sized city like London, Ontario is that our graduate students have the opportunity to work closely with city planners, with public officials and we do a lot of hands-on work and so um, it allows us to bring what we learn into the classroom out into the field. I'm Jeff Hopkins, I'm an associate professor here at Western. I've been here since about 1993 uh, I have an interest in uh, primarily three areas. Uh, first and foremost are public places, like this park we're in. I'm quite intrigued with the control and use and design and management of these places. So I've done research on shopping malls, of course, indoor cities like Toronto's underground indoor city, uh, 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 libraries, uh, and of course uh, sidewalks, public streets. And I'm quite driven by the question of what makes a successful public place. What I'm interested in in cities in terms of the social life of cities, how we can make them better, how we can make them uh, more sociable, more equitable, uh, uh, more sustainable. Currently I have uh, two graduate students. One is looking at the placemaking processes of new immigrants to Canada, specifically in London, Ontario. Uh, what's interesting about our department is we also have links with other programs and other departments and uh, this one student is, is actually doing her degree, her master's degree in geography through the Migration and Ethnic Relations program. Well, I'm quite interested in, uh, as I mentioned, uh, gender issues, public spaces, and symbolic uh, landscapes. I'm quite amenable to working with uh, potential graduate students to actually identify something that they want to do. Um, so uh, I welcome your insights and, and potential questions to develop something that we could do together.